Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Logan's Life with me, Logan. And today we are doing a Lego set review, and it is the 2020 Spider Jet versus Venom Mech. Actually, it might be a late 2019 set, I'm not totally sure. But anyways, let's, yeah, let's get, let's get on with this. And before I mention, the set retails for $29.99 in the U.S. Don't know what the price is for Canadian, etc., and I got this at Barnes & Noble, but you can get it pretty much anywhere that sells Legos. Not too rare of a set. Um, so yeah, but let's get started with the minifigures. And let's start with the villain. And the villain of this set is probably one of the most common villains of Lego Spider-Man sets nowadays. Because he's had like four or five sets, which I mean is kind of insane. So here we go. This is the Venom figure. He has an amazing facial print. I'm sorry, birds are flying around in my backyard. It's a great facial print. You can kind of see the tongue, but it's not really there. So I'm kind of disappointed. But not really too disappointed. And the eyes are great. Looks great. Kind of reminds me of the one from Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire. This one looks good. And then he has some amazing torso print. An upgrade in my opinion. On the back, the torso print continues. Great figure. It's, I would say it's more of a comic book one than an actual like Spider-Man movie or whatever one. Just because, I mean, most specifically the insignia. If It's weird because in the movies, the insignia usually isn't there. So that's how you know that it's from the comics. We're just going to leave him in his back over there. And first, and then next, probably the reason a lot of people are buying this set, is the Spider New Army figure. And it is kind of black, so I'm going to see if I can get a better angle on it. There you go, you can see He's got some sunglasses, great. He's got, I don't think that's a new mold, but I don't have any of them. An amazing, like, fedora hat piece. You can display him with it, you can display him without. I think I'll display him with it, honestly, because he has his jacket on. Some amazing front printing. You can see there a little bit. And he has some back printing. Nothing too major, still looks good. Oh no, the camera fell. Can you see me? This thing's on? Alright, good. <laughs> Oops, sorry for that. And this is the lug printing, whatever. So, yeah, it's a great figure. 10 out of 10 on the figure, they did an amazing job. And next is the Spider Man minifigure. Um, it's pretty great, in my opinion, as far as the insignia goes. The legs are kind of scraggly, but still looks good. And the eyes are fantastic. Um,. Again, great back torso printing and some amazing back head printing. And he has some printed boots or pants or whatever they are. His red, his red like shoes on his legs. Really good. Just a great figure overall. I think he's going to fly the spider jet in my display of the set. Now, on to the builds. So, here we go. Let's start this, this out. Well, actually, the villain of this set, which is kind of another reason I bought it because I'm trying to complete my Venom collection and but I didn't really buy it it was actually a birthday gift for my grandparents so again shout out to my grandpa because he's probably watching this video so yeah here we go this is the Mac um I do have some complaints with the Mac but you can see the middle part looks great and that is actually a print not a sticker so I was very shocked about that I expect it to be a sticker but you can see right there a little close-up view kind of sinister looking the fingers snap off easily but like most of the mechs from 2020 it has this like little technic pin coming out which i don't really like so just another flaw but great mech overall and then yeah he's got some legs i he did a good job on the toes i guess and another thing i don't like about the set is or the is it on the back i don't know what those are supposed to be but i don't whatever no, I don't think you'll see him when you display this set, but... Oh my gosh, this camera keeps on falling. This is bad luck. So, yeah, um, there's the Venom Mac. It's, um, and if you're wondering how he goes in, you just take that out. Well, actually, so, he goes in by first you move the top things up. You slide him in like that. Put the, like, chest plate that part on. Then you slide the... Th Two things down. So yeah, the Venom Mech, and it does look a bit crowded in my opinion, as far as the arms go. Like the body, it looks a bit crowded. Like as far as like it doesn't look like it has enough space for each arm. 
Like it's got like four arms and one body, so it's kind of disproportioned. But overall, for a thirty dollar price tag, I would give this set like an A minus overall. Next, on to the Spider Jet, and this I'm not totally sure if I like it or not because first off, let's start in the back. You have a little engine, still looks great, and then these are stickers, so those are a pain to get on. I thought they would be printed, but you know, whatever. Um, and I think that you, it looks really good as far as the wings go. Because even though they are one piece and they're super flimsy, they still pull it off to look good. And these two, like, little wing red things at the top, those look pretty good. They add to, like, an aerodynamic feel to it. And then they have these two, like, thrusters, I think they are. <laughs> Not totally sure, but it looks great. And then you have some flick fire missiles with... Those aren't exclusive, but some great head pieces for the missiles overall. And you have a disc launcher. Now, I will show you how it works in a minute. So, here is the cannon on the top, which I think it's unnecessary, but a great touch nonetheless. So, yeah. And this is actually based off a tank destroyer ship. Those, they have, like, a big cannon in the front, so that way they fly in and take out tanks and stuff. So, if you're wondering what type of plane this is. That's it. And, uh, yeah, it's got just a little open-up hatch. And it does have some printing on the computer there. Actually, it looks really good. Uh, I'm very glad with how the computer looks. Now, the, now, I will show you how these work, but I don't want to lose anything. So I will kind of try and take some of the missiles out, if possible. Oh, all right, yep. Looks like I'm just going to show you all four firing at once. You ready? I'm gonna shoot at the camera. Wait, there we go. So you push these two, this little engine part right there. You push that. All right. So let's three, two, one. Boom! All right. Yeah. They don't really fly too far, but anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload two of them. Just on camera. Whoa! Few. Yeah, these things do tend to get lost. So they give you an extra few of them. And then these disc launchers do, you need to track your shots with these because these get lost fast. You ready? Oh my gosh, they hit the camera. Oh well. Oh, one landed on my foot actually. Oh well, I'm gonna need to pick those up off camera. So yeah, um, Spider Jet looks great. It has no standing room, but I mean, for $30, it's a great set. You can't really complain. Now on to the boxes and the final verdict. Alright, here we go. This is the manual. Not too thick, not too thin. I really like it. And yeah, this is a great, great cover art. I feel like it looks really good. And then you have the advertisement for Lego Life. Which I don't use because I don't like Lego Life at all. I think it's a very bad app, but whatever. And then it's a little thing. Give them a review and you can win something. Now, something weird about this manual is you, it goes right to the part index where it has no advertisements whatsoever, not even in the front. Just how to use the um, Lego Life thing, which you can actually pause the video and read that if you want. So, on to the box. And the box art, I think that they did a great job, but it does have one flaw. So you can see the Venomac is floating Spider-Man, and he has like a bank vault in his hand. Um, so yeah, and then, I don't know why, but Spider-Noir is driving the Spider-Jet, which he's all like black and white and stuff, as you can see from this figure. Yet he's driving a bright red and blue jet, so that I, I, I thought Spider-Man would be rescuing Spider-Noir, but whatever. And it shows him with his hat flying off in, on the back. Great cover art. Um, it shows the play features of the missiles and the disc, which I launched at the camera. And they do give you extras in case you lose them. We need to get those extras. So, yeah. That's the set. I would give this... Oh, and there's a little picture of Spidey. I would... Wow, I have some crazy birds chirping in my backyard. But I would give this set... Um, I give it a 9 out of 10 for a $30 price tag. I don't usually give sets that are... I feel like all, if it's a 10 out of 10 set, it'll be like $50 or $60. 
but for a $30 set, I feel like they did a really good job with this, especially as far as pricing go. These $30, um, you get uh, an A minus vehicle plus an A minus villain and his mech, and you get two, three mini figures, I guess. So yeah, great set overall. I hope you enjoy it and leave it in the comments if they're not disabled. Whether you want more Legos, less Legos, if you want the sequel for this to letting our barista pick our drink video. And I am out. Have an amazing rest of your day. But if you can't, don't ruin anybody else's. Bye.